What up, Hive Mind? It's your boy Tiege, coming back with our old favorites, the Bright Lovers, Sylvia and Corvath. Hot. This is tech. Yeah, it is hot. They love each other, and they're not afraid to show it in public all the time, with their various kinky instruments and hot human on dragon action. This is a deck I wanted to do some upgrades with, uh, with Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate brought us a bunch of uh, cheap dragons, and I could... In theory, swap out some non-dragon things for actual dragon things to up that dragon count. But I looked through it real quick the other day, and I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to cut. So I'm going to run it again as is, see what I like, see what I don't, and we will take it from there for future upgrades. I had to mull down to six because my friends cut like dicks. I was going to call you guys dirks. Combination I of jerk and dick. circumcised your deck. Was but, I not supposed to? Nope. Not the way you did it. What, what kind of cut did you expect? Draw this. I will play a Terramorphic Expanse, and I will pass my turn. All right. This week I am uh, running my Tasha the Witch Queen deck for the first time. She is a five-mana Planeswalker, three colorless, a blue, and a black, with four starting loyalty. I won't read the entire card, but the gist of it is she rewards you for playing spells you do not own, and the entire deck is kind of built around that concept. With that, I will draw a card. Play a Dark Water Catacombs and pass to Schnell. Uh, uh, today I am running Zelix Sanity Flare with his background of Haunted One. Uh, basically, I pulled him from a set booster and went, That guy's really cool, and he's Mill, and I can make a blue black Mill in EDH because I only have a mono blue uh, currently. So, I love Mill. I love how he interacts with Mill, and that the ultimate goal is not necessarily to mill out the opponent, but he can go super wide with just a shit ton of uh, black horror creature tokens. So it is part horror tribal, pri uh, part uh, Mill, and we'll see what the horrors do. Corvath got real aroused when you said super wide. Yeah. <laughs> Local uh, horrors in your area. Yes. Uh, Chris led with the Dark Water Catacombs, so I will lead with the Dark Water Catacombs. Weird. Because again, we built the same decks, <laughs> just a little bit different. Teach, go ahead. I will drop this Battlefield Forge and pass turn. Snow Covered Swamp. Use that to activate the Dark Water Catacombs for a blue and a black. I will cast Rogue Class. Uh, whenever a creature I control deals combat damage to a player, exile the top card of that player's library face down. You may look at it for as long as it remains exiled. Pass turn. On top of keep draw. Uh, damn it, I didn't draw my rogue class to cast, so this is where we start diverging. Uh, watery Grave. I don't need it yet, so we're just going to have it enter tapped and pass to teach. Double draw. Oh, okay, here we go. Now we're playing with fire. Mountain. Ah, literally. Uh, one damage from my battlefield forge to add a red. Let's go the fuck. There we go. <laughs> and I will play Chaos Dragon. 4-4 four, four Flying Haste. It attacks Ugh. each combat to Fable. At the beginning of combat on my turn, each player rolls a d20. If one or more opponents had the highest result, Chaos Dragon can't attack those players. Or Planeswalkers. They can Roll try. for your soul. And yeah, grab me a d20. There's one over there. Okay. Seven. Thirteen. Six. Chanel. Yeah. Four. Goddamn. Damn. Goddamn dice rolls. I used up all my luck because I critically passed a death save against a red dragon and woke <laughs> up and just went, I'm out of here. <laughs> Karn's Bastion. So you use that to activate the Dark Water Catacombs, creating a black and a blue. A second black, and I'll cast Nashi Moon Sage of Scion. 3 2 Rat Ninja. Whenever he deals combat damage to a player, exile a top card of each player's library. Until end of turn, you may play one of those cards. If you cast a spell this way, pay life equal to its mana value rather than paying its mana cost. Pass turn. Okay. Untap upkeep draw. <clears throat> uh, Drownyard Temple, and then we will activate the catacombs with the Watery Grave and the Drownyard, and throw down Zelix Sanity Flare. 
So, whenever a player mills one or more creature cards, I create a 1-1 one, one black horror creature token. I can pay one and tap him to have target player mill three. And his background, as previous sta previously stated, is Haunted One. Go ahead, Teach. I won't tap. I will play a Plains. I will cast one of my commanders, Sylvia Brightspear. Dragons I control have double strike. I'll move to combat. Mm. 17. 13. 13. Aw, oh, Chris. Take 8. God damn it. This is going to be a fast game. <laughs> 32. Faster. Well, that completely changes what the hell I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah. Draw for the turn. Jesus. Play a land. Why do I do that? Hmm. Fuck it. I'll take a turn off. How, uh, how bad can I get hurt? We will level up. Dice roll. Level up the rogue class. Uh, creatures I control now have menace. Tej. Yep. Three. Take it. A um, couple triggers here when they do. Uh, Nashi deals combat damage to a player. Exile the top card of each player's library. Hmm. Oh, that's including me. Until end of turn, I may play one of those cards. If you cast a spell, you pay life instead of its mana cost. So you have to land? Yep. Feed the swarm. You get rid of the, the hardy dragon. <laughs> yeah, but it would cost me a total of five life to do so. You just took eight from it, so that's... <laughs> There is that. Oh, and I also get a trigger from this. Uh, exile the top card of that player's library face down. So. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. You may look at it. I will look at it. Um, let's stick it under here. Um, yeah, I will pay the five to destroy the dragon. And it's five life away? Um, I can pay life instead of its mana cost. Yep. And I have I lose life equal to the permanent's mana value. Oh, gotcha, got it. Okay, so you're getting rid of cast dragon. Yes. Exile. Yes. Destroy. Destroy. Oh yeah, target destroy. creature right. or enchantment of right. controls. Um, and this is exiled. Um, pass turn. Okay. Untap, upkeep, drawer. Land with a turn, Reliquary Tower. <sighs> We're going to see if this okay, if this right. works. Altar of the Brood. Oh, that's a good one. Yes. Um, Tej, mill yes. three cards. Let me know if you mill any creatures. Venerable War Singer is a creature. Okay. Tilt's Trickery. Stoneforge Mystic is a creature. Okay, so... Uh, it's one or more, so whenever uh, one or more creatures, I create a horror. So when I create a horror, another permanent is battlefield under my control. Each opponent mills one. Unfulfilled desires. Jeweled Lotus. Ah, okay. Fun. That I seems terrible. <laughs> yeah. That seems oh. fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was hoping to debut this one in a four-player game just to see if we could... Uh, God, that's... You'd chain some real dumb stuff together. Yeah. Um, that is it for me, Goatege. Untap. Draw. Ooh. Also, nice artifact. Goddamn. Very good ruin. I did not take my five. Ah. Over here cheating. I'll cast Goldspan Dragon. Eh. Good fucking gravy. Yep. Uh, well, Chanel, good. you're a life leader. <laughs> yeah, I am. Take an eight. Yes, sir. Uh, when Goldspan Dragon attacks, I create a treasure token. Uh, treasures I control have a sacrifice for two mana instead of one. Yeah. <laughs> 
Pass turn. Real quick game. Wonderful War Singer. What do you do? You're useful. See, I gotta find non dragon things to cut for more dragons or cheaper oh, dragons. No. Can I see your graveyard? Yes. But I look through, and a lot of the non dragon things are actually really good. I don't necessarily want to cut them. Hmm. You have nothing in yours? Just feed the swarm. Feed the swarm. <sighs> okay. Um. I will go to combat. Teach. Three. Uh, yeah, no effects. So a couple triggers. We each exile the top card. Mountain. Trophy mage. What is that? Search for three? three yeah, three drop artifact. And a mountain. Is that the planeswalker? Yeah. I don't think I've seen that printing in real life yet. Sweet, sweet anime version. Um, I will pay the three life and play that. What's up? You're the only one who's hit me, right? Yes. Okay, so I didn't take it. Okay. 24. This is just exile? Yes. Yeah. Land for the turn. Beginning of your end step. Uh, if it entered the battlefield this turn, he phases out. So he enters with three. Then I will plus one him. Draw a card, then discard a card unless you attacked this turn. Draw a card, then, then discard, discard unless you attack. Yep. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and the way he said it <laughs> the, the first time. It was... <laughs> Draw a card and discard a card. Unless you attack this turn. So you don't get to do anything because you attacked? What a shitty ninja. Then I will cast Chaos Wand. Ooh. And I'll go to my end step, and he will phase out. It's the one that lets you, you cast. cast stuff off our libraries? Yes. Nice. Done? Pass turn. Okay. Okay. Uh, land for the turn is a swamp. You each mill one. Let me know if there's any creatures in there. Silver. Knowledge exploitation. Okay. Um... Casting Trepanation Blade. Permanent enters. You each mill one. Let me know if there's any creatures in there. Nope. Overhead Helm is a creature. Okay, so that'll create a horror. When the horror enters, you each mill one. Rod of Absorption. Tragic Arrogance. Okay. <clears throat> then we will move to equip Trepanation Blade on the horror that was already here. It is now a 1-1. One, one. We will go to combat. Tej, yep. swing at you for one. But uh, when I attack, defending player reveals cards off the top of his or her library until he reveals a land. You uh, you mill until you hit land. I believe is the official new word. And then he gets plus X plus plus zero. yeah plus one plus O until the end of the turn for each card revealed. So mill until you hit land. Let me know if you get any creatures. Oh no! yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, no creatures. Plus three. Plus three. Okay. Plus three, plus oh. Plus three, plus oh. Uh, I will just take four. Okay. 29. Chaos Warp. <laughs> yeah. If I pull one of the new art, <laughs> Chaos Warp, the Foglio Chaos Warp, I'll totally give it you to you. You did it, Deck. You got rid of the, the only thing that could ever stop me. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Teach. <laughs> Fuck Chaos Warp. Uh... Maybe at the end of the year, I should just go back through all our old episodes and do a compilation of every single time you've Chaos Warped. <laughs> and then going forward, have like a running ticker mm -hmm. of every Chaos Warp that gets cast against you. Uh, I know it's not even that many, but... It's it the timing, it's like the timing always, of a lot of them. It is always the, I think I'm about to win. All I need to do is, <laughs> ah, it's Chaos Warped away. <laughs> I'm going to have a good turn here. Ah, it's Chaos Warped away. 
now I milled away the chaos warp. The universe is in balance. I will. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Glory bear. You fuck. <laughs> God damn. I'll move to combat. Yeah. Uh, I'll attack each of you. Hold for... on a second. Hold Sorry. on. What is the the is that's an attack trigger on Glorybringer? Yes, I can exert it as it attacks. Mm. Gonna go with it. No. No. Oh. I'm going to reality shift it though. Uh, exile it. Exile and then it, and then, then you manifest the top card. Yep. Uh, Because now she's the only goddamn thing I have rolling, and I couldn't risk it getting taken out. Okay. Uh, exile. Manifest. And... I guess I'll move to combat. And Chris, for your insolence, you can take it. Yep. God damn dragons. God damn Sylvia. Yeah. I will sack one of my treasures and this to play Nadar Selfless Paladin. 3-3 three, three, Vigilance. Uh, whenever he attacks or enters the battlefield, I venture into the dungeon. Creatures I control get plus one plus one as long as I completed the dungeon. Now he has dungeons and dragons. Oh, I have Dungeons and Dragons. Um, I should probably go through the shortest one. So I will. Tomb of Annihilation. Uh, each player loses one life. I'm going to go ahead and move your beer right out of the... That's fine. Yeah. Sorry about this. Uh, I lost mine. Chris, did you lose yours? I did. Chanel, did you lose yours? From what? Tomb of Annihilation. Okay. Wait, lose life? Yep, each okay. player loses one. Gotcha. Pass turn. Exotic Orchard. Phases back in. What a weird ninja. Like, it took me like two or three readings before I completely understood that first ability. If he entered the battlefield this turn? <laughs> but he doesn't enter and leave, so it's just the first time around he shows up and then phases out. He doesn't just keep goddamn doing it. Yeah. Mm, God, I'm not sure which route to go here. So that wouldn't help me this turn either. I will plus one him. Draw a card. Then discard a card. Justin want to risk blocking with his commander. We'll risk it for the biscuit. Guess we will find out. Is it menace? Yes. Oh. Wait. Nope, it doesn't. Never okay. mind. I thought it did. Sorry, went full Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> full Nelson. That's illegal in wrestling. <laughs> um half and three quarter? Fine. Full Nelson? You could really hurt somebody going full nest. <laughs> Can't do that either. Oh man. Um
Yeah, it's his combat damage trigger. All right, um, I have to pass. Okay. Hunt it. Upkeep. Drawer. Uh, land for the turn. You each mill one. Second sunrise. Land. Hmm. You guys are playing creatures, right? Quite a few, actually. Like a bunch. Prove it. Glimpsy unthinkable. Mill ten. Ah, oh, piss. Let me know if <laughs> there's any creatures in there so I can get a get a guy. One. There we go. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Roger necromancer. Now you each mill one. As the horror enters. Land. Kodo! That's a creature. Okay. So that'll get me another horror. You'll each mill one. Sorcery. Lion Sash, that's a creature. Okay, so I'll give me a horror creature. You each mill one. Audric, that's uh Wait, wait. God damn it, Teach! Okay, <laughs> that'll, get, that'll get me another horror creature. So you'll each mill one. Land. Gadric. Okay, that'll get me another horror creature. You each mill one. Evolving Wilds! Naxaw Click. Okay, that'll get me another horror <laughs> creature. You each mill God one. God damn it, Chris! Land. Torian Muller. Okay, that's another horror creature. You each mill one. <laughs> Boots. Artifact. No, ah, okay. Blood Forge Battle Axe. I say boots. I meant greaves. The words look very similar. Okay. Both go near your ankles. I'm going to activate Zealot's Sanity Flare. Uh, Teed, mill three. Sword of the Animist. Creature. Power of the Dawn Sky. That'll give me another horror creature. Zealot's you each mill one. Mountain. Copy artifacts. Ah. Hmm. May I look at your graveyard again? You sure can. That thing's growing at a pretty rapid rate. Okay, so this is six of these guys total. Um, I'm going to go to combat. Chris, mill until you hit a land. I'm attacking you, not your planeswalker. I have a rules question. Mm -hmm. I ask you to stop. <laughs> if an instant tells you that you can cast an instant or sorcery from a graveyard, yep. you still have to follow timing restrictions, correct? If the effect says you may cast that spell, you yes. don't have to. If the effect says you have until the end of the turn, then yes. Okay. I will pay four mana. I will cast Memory Plunder. I may cast an instant or sorcery card from an opponent's graveyard without paying its mana cost. Yep. I will cast the Tragic Arrogance. Yes. For each player, choose from among the permanents that player controls an artifact, creature, enchantment, and planeswalker. Then that player, each player sacrifices all other non-land permanents they control. Oof. So you can have the trepanation blade. Okay. All right. So wait, 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 wait. For each player, you choose from among the permanents. Yep. An artifact, a creature, and an enchantment. Okay. In response to you casting that. Yes. I'm sacrificing the treasure to white. Okay. Go ahead. Um. You can keep this horror. Okay. This trepanation blade. Okay. I think that's it. Destroy the rest. Yeah, is it sacrifice? Each player sacrifices all other. Okay. Um, Can I see your background? Got it. Okay, thanks. Uh, you can keep the morph creature. Um, sacrifice the rest. Yes. Um, okay. Dead. Dead. Command zone. I will keep the roll class, this, this, and this. Checks out. Uh, I believe this is exiled then. No, it doesn't say. It doesn't say exile it, so. Sweet. I can just hang on there. I'll get my graveyard back. Planeswalkers, too? Yes. Okay. I believe it said keep a planeswalker, correct? 
artifact, a creature, an enchantment, and a planeswalker. Okay. Yep. Okay. There you go. Boo. That's all I had. Boo. I will move to equip before. Oh God. Because that was combat, right? Yes. yes. All right. Before anything else happens. Uh, I'm going to play Brought Back. I'm going to choose up to two permanents from my graveyard that were put there from the battlefield this turn from the battlefield tapped. We'll get my Paladin back and my Goldspan Dragon Pat back. Um, Boo Earns. I will venture into Yelbrex. I will discard a card and sacrifice an artifact, a creature, and a land. I will sacrifice the treasure that this thing makes. Oh, wait, no, because I can... Oh, I just created one of them, so I don't have to sacrifice an artifact. Um, discard a card. Sacrifice creature. It was an X guard armory. Oh, fooled me all along. <laughs> sacrifice a land. I thought it was a colorless vanilla tutu. All right, go ahead. Okay. Land Move drop to, to equip disguise. Trepanation Blade to my one 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 horror. Go ahead, teach. Untap. Eh. Um, counterpoint, you would still mill. Yes. Yeah. Did you? No, I okay. am. I will. Until I hit a land. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I knew that as I was doing things, and then it got lost in the shuffle. No, that's fine. I remembered it after the fact. Thank you for getting rid of that. The land on the top? Yes. Oh. All right. Land for turn is a knife. Oh, alter the brood. Doing some work. So fucking silly. <laughs> if only blue black had ways to get that back out of the graveyard. If only. Five for my commander again. Key riced. You have a three two. You I have, have a one one. A one one. Yeah, I am gaping over here. No, I will attack you with Nadar. I will attack your Planeswalker with Goldspan Dragon. I'll get a treasure. So I'm taking six? Yes, unless you block it. I will not. I will block with Nashi. Flying? Oh, that's right, it's flying. Nope, I guess my Planeswalker's just dead. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Venture into the dungeon. On attack. I'm going to create my 4-4 God Horror Creature Token with Death Touch. Your Hatchable. Other creatures I control get plus one, plus one, as long as I've completed a dungeon. So this will be coming in at four. Four double strike. Okay, so I took two more. And that cold span's coming in at ten. Yes. Fast mm. Christ. Yerp. You're not there's a board, right? I guess there's a couple. Couldn't just let me have, like, twelve horrors? You had twelve horrors. I didn't stop you from having those in. Yeah, I know. I'm saying he couldn't oh, just okay. let me have like twelve horrors. <laughs> what? Sorry. Other creatures. You didn't get the additional two from that. My apologies. <clears throat> you get there. Justin, three. Your, your victory now has an asterisk on it. Uh, block. Okay. B goes fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. Ganti. Ooh. Um... I'll look at the top four of your library. I think I'll have better luck there. Depends on what you're looking for. Yeah. <laughs> Blue black cards? Yeah. <laughs> nope. That is the frustration we want to hear. Look at and cast. Yuck. <laughs> is it weird shit that only works with my weird shit? Yeah. Nice. That's what we were going for. Three lands and a piece of carp. Here you go, sir. Back on the bottom of my library in random order. Oh, 
Thank you for getting rid of those lands then, I suppose. Yeah. I did play a land this turn. Okay. Pass turn. Okay. Untap. Upkeep. Drawer. Land for the turn. Stupid sexy dragons. Stupid sexy dragons. Okay. Um, six for a topaz dragon. <laughs> dragon. Yep. Four four flying death touch. Go ahead. Four four flying death touch. Now if only I had way more than first strike. What's that? Uh, that thing you took. Got yeah. it. Um, I will move to combat. Uh, Schnell. Yeah. Five flying double strike. Uh, Chris, I will send the other two on the ground at you. Nadar is a 3 3 vigilance double strike, and the Atropole is just a 5 5 death touch. Any tricks? How much would I be taking total? Uh, 11. Good God. Yep, yeah, down to 4. I'm going to take 10. Down to 11. Pass turn. Cards in hand for both of you. I have one. Three. Get him. Teach, coming at you. Two, three, death touch, and a three, two. Touch and a 3 2. I will block the 2 3 death touch with a 3 3 double strike. Oh, yeah, double strike. <laughs> yeah. And I will just take the 2. Okay. Pretty cool. Pass turn. Okay. <sighs> On tap. Upkeep, drawer. Oh, I guess I couldn't play the other creature. Yeah, well. Uh, let's see. Nevin Rawls disc. Oof. Maybe too little, too late. Staff of Domination. Go ahead. Both my commanders got hard when you said domination. Tee hee. Hmm. I feel like I'm going to be a target this turn. I feel like. You're he both targets. Yeah, so yeah, he could just. He has enough it's to just get us personal. Both. Yeah. It's okay. I'm still enjoying this deck for its inaugural run. Um. Uh, I will just move to combat, and I will attack Schnell for 10 in the air, and Chris on the ground again, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. With the, so what's all attacking? Uh, Nadar and the Atropol. Hold on. Tracks. Tracks. I have a response. 2, 1, 2, 3. Aether Spouts. For each attacking creature, its owner puts it on the top or bottom of their library. Nice. I will. Honestly, it's not going to matter. Not what I wanted to hear. Well, I, I, mean, I mean, you'll see. You'll see. You'll see. 
because it changes my plan slightly. So, all right, so that's gone. Nothing. Uh, second main, I will go... <laughs> draw six cards. Draw six cards, no. Um, Recruiter of the Guard. Ah, okay. So I'm going to search my library for a creature with toughness two or less and put it in my hand and shuffle them. Hence the where they go. It doesn't yep. matter. All right. And then you can go on the bottom. Ooh, I kind of like that. That works out pretty good. I will cast Tasha the Witch Queen. Enters with four loyalty. And I will plus one her. Uh, plus one is draw a card. For each opponent, exile up to one target instant or sorcery card from that player's graveyard and put a page counter on it. For each opponent? Yes. That is my graveyard. Okay. Oh, exile. The feed the swarm. And Jesus, some brick of cards here. <laughs> Sorry, Mill. It's okay. I'm down to 11. Now, when can you cast those? Um, I have to minus 3 her. Okay. Uh, I may cast a spell from among cards in exile with page counters on them without paying its mana cost. Ugh. Uh, blue and a black. I will cast Baleful Strix. Draw a card. Pass turn. Okay, one tap upkeep drawer. So I have three different X, four different X fives going over here. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to just put this right over there in case of emergencies. And then. Him attacking me qualifies as an emergency, correct? Me attacking? Or him attacking him. you? Him. Ah. Well, I'm going to recast Zelix Sanity Flare. Pass. It doesn't get rid of Planeswalkers, though. No. That is a problem. I mean, cool. she lets me cast things and make three threes. She lets you Chaos Warp and destroy... You have two removal spells, yeah. One is almost useless to me at four life. Yeah, okay. It would be a, a good testament to that deck if you cast my same Feed the Swarm twice. True story. Yeah. I cast the same spell twice. It wasn't even mine. I'll cast mine second, Commander Korvoth Brightflame. 3-4 uh, Flying Haste, Knights my team controls, has Flying the Haste. Chris, you have one flyer. I have a flyer. It's an artifact, if I'm reading it correctly. It is. Which means it is ripe for disenchantment. Classic disenchantment. The OG. Tapped out. Some bitch. He got me. Uh, three flying belt strike. At Tasha? At Christopher. Nope. Button's jammed. <laughs> Fuck. Wah wah. Dead, dead, dead ski. These are exiled. 
Go ahead. All right. Exiled. <sighs> Exiled. Exiled. Ooh. I think that was face down, but whatever. Oh, well. Whatever. It's still exiled. Uh, command tower is my land for the turn. Kindred Discovery. Uh, I'm going to choose Horror. So whenever a creature of the uh, creature I control of the chosen type enters the battlefield or attacks. Teach Mill 3. Let me know if you get any creatures. Sundown Pass. Generous Gift. Plain. Damn it! Well, there was my one gambit. Less fun. Go ahead. My only hope, he only had one disenchant effect. <laughs> and Chaos Warp is gone, gone now. Chaos Warp is gone, gone. Uh, a Tootsie. At Sushi, the blazing sky. Shit. 4-4 four, four Flying Trample, when, when it, it dies, dies, I exile the top two cards of my library until in turn, until the end of my next turn I can play those cards, or I create three treasures. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay. I'll move to combat. Okay. Uh, you can use it. Three flying double strike. Three flying double strike? Three flying double strike. I'll block with my 4-4 four, four flying death touch. That'll do it. Okay. Faster. Okay. One down. <laughs> Step up, keep draw. God, I wish I had Ultra the Brood still out there. Uh, land for the turn, Swamp. Teach Mill 3, let me know if you had any uh, Home of the host creatures. Planes, Sword of Hearth and Home. Yeah. Mm, three to untap. One to tap. Mill three. Let me know if you get any creatures. Mountain. Plains. God damn. Spectators. All the creatures are in the top half of the deck. It's true. Apparently. I oh, no. fucking guess. <clears throat> well, I could untap it and then tap to gain two life. Hey. Rude, sir. Rude and churlish. Mm, I think it's enchantments. Okay, go ahead. Bonders Enclave. I'll go one, two, three. For Sword of Feast and Famine. I'll pay two to equip Sword of Feast and Famine to Atsushi. Move to combat. Schnell. Six. Okay. Strike. Activating Nevenroll's disc. There it is. Yep. Destroy everything. Uh, destroy all artifacts, creatures, and enchantments. Yep. Um, all my good shit. It costs four extra. Did that wrong. Uh, go ahead. Okay. One tap. I'll keep drawer. Did that poorly. Um, we will. Can't believe I'm pulling for the mill deck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pulling for the mill deck. <laughs> uh, Sir Conrad. Not punches, just in general. 
Uh, whenever a creature dies or is put in a graveyard from anywhere other than the battlefield or a creature card leaves a graveyard, he deals one damage to each opponent. I will activate his ability. Each player puts the top card of his or her library in their graveyard. Not a creature. Kiri, Fearless Voyager. So, a creature. Uh, you take a damage. 24. And we'll do it again. Mill. Prismatic Vista. Yeah, okay. Here's my real quest. I thought you were bullshitting. Go ahead. No. <laughs> no, it, part of the deck is Mill. The other part is, like, stealing shit and doing weird exile things. How many lands do you control? Just curious. <laughs> Nine? Hold on. That can produce colorless mana specifically. Oh, specifically colorless. One. No reason. Two. Dos. Yes. Two, you say? Yes. Alright. Really curious as what the hell this is. Yeah, I I can picture it. It's Obsidian Charma. That's the one. Cost one less to cast for each land I have my opponent's control that could produce colorless. Yeah. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, destroy target non-basic land and opponent controls. Drawing your temple, that's a hell of a target. <laughs> right? I mean, it's probably what's going to be, but I'd like to see the rest <laughs> of them. Oh, uh, Reliquary really Tower. Okay. And I'll follow that up with a mirror entity. Just straight up destroyed? Straight up destroy. Okay. Go ahead. <sighs> Can I mill you 25 creatures? Not with that attitude. Teeds, let's all mill. Okay. No creature. No creature. Okay. Uh, let us mill. Goldspan Dragon. No creature. So, you take one. 23. Okay, yeah, it's just creature cards. So. Um, let us mill. No Sigiri creature. Shelter. I really like that card. Which one? Sajiri Shelter. Was that one? Yeah. Uh, target creature I control gains protection from the color of my choice until end of turn. And it has the land on the back side. Oh. I run creatures in this deck, right? Yeah, a little. Fuck it. Let's mill again. Plains. Creature. Let me take one. <sighs> okay. Go ahead. That was a real expensive lightning bolt. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tapping out for Sylvia Brightspear. She gives double, double strike. Double strike. Okay. I will take you for four flying double strike. Four total. Yep. So eight. Yep. Down to three. Turn. On tap up, keep draw. Uh, okay, can I do things? I need three for that. A little Iron Man in there. <laughs> so let's get let's get some options. Teach, let's mill. Harden. Oh, take a point. Twenty one. Teach, let's mill. Gold vein pick. Hey, increasing confusion. Um. Twice as many. So, I can mill you eight. That wouldn't get. So, let's mill another one. Fable passage. Power would kill. <sighs> okay. Uh, we will victimize. I will get back. Topaz Dragon, 4-4 four, four Flying Death Touch, and Skemfar Shadow Sage. When she enters the battlefield, choose one. Each opponent loses X and uh, X life, where X is the greatest number of creatures you control that have a common creature type. 
or gain X life where X is the greatest number of creatures I control. So, I'm going to make you lose one. 20. And then I lose to you. Go okay. ahead. Tap. Land for turn. And then you have two creatures? Two creatures. Uh, creatures I control are uh, base power 8-8 eight, eight, yep. and gain all creature types. Yep. Get at you. Gotcha. Okay. So tonight I ran my Korvath and Sylvia Bright Lovers deck. Uh, the deck is basically a cheap dragon tribal, ideally with a big equipment sub-theme. I didn't cast a single equipment all game. Uh, but I did play a lot of dragons, uh, and Sylvia works real well with that because she gives all the dragons double strike. Did you bring the mic? You did. It's right there. I cast a um, sword, and then I board wiped. I cast one sword <laughs> to to bait out the board wipe. That was the that was the whole point of playing that. Um, the 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 deck isn't, despite what you may have seen at the beginning of the game, that powerful. I don't imagine. Um, it needs to get going earlier, uh, and I think I I think what I might do is. Um, cut back on the equipment sub theme in the sense that I, I run a lot of equipment matters things. So if I take those out and maybe replace them with cheaper dragons, Baldur's Gate gave us uh, uh, a lot of nice dragons I want to fit in somewhere. Um, so without relying on the equipments for synergistic things so much as just more dragons, I might get a, a little bit more punch that I'm looking for out of the deck. Uh, but it did it did perform pretty well tonight. Um, uh, the deck is still fun, I'm, uh, so I just fit more dragons in is what I want to do. Um, find room for that, so. Tonight was the debut game for my Tasha the Witch Queen to steal all your shit deck. Um, and the only shit I got was double striking dragons <laughs> over and over and over again. Um, I liked what my deck was doing. Um, I saw enough out of it that, to know that I built it how I want it to function, but, uh, just not enough early interaction for how fast those uh, dragons were double striking. It was a real quick game for me, um, but there's I didn't see anything from my deck that would make me want to tweak it before I run it a second game. So for my trial run of uh, Zelex the Sanity Flare, I am very, very happy with how this deck performed. Um, I knew Altar of the Brood would be some cool synergy in there, uh, I didn't expect it to chain quite as much as it did with only two opponents to uh, flip cards off of the top of their library one at a time for, but we certainly hit a lot. Um, I think I showcased what the deck was trying to do. Now I just need to start dialing it in and uh, doing some fine tuning. I'm definitely adding a little bit more recursion in there because I go, I go very wide very quickly, but I need to be able to recover from those board wipes. So I have a good amount of ramp in there. I'm debating if I want to keep my uh, altar, uh, whichever one sacrifices for two, two colorless, just so I can start shoving, shoving those little bodies into more mana production for other tricks. But um, I already know a few cuts that I'm going to make and a few additions that are going in there. But overall, I'm very, very happy with this deck, and I'm going to continue to tweak it, and we'll, we'll see how it does going forward. But uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe.